way that you're not uh, too comfortable with. Anyway, it's going to be Temple Mage versus Mech Mage. Wasn't really expecting this. I don't think you've seen many uh, Temple Mages at all. We saw Mech Mage from Magic Wind. I believe that was yesterday. But uh, yeah, going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I haven't seen Mech Mage versus Temple Mage in a long, long time, actually. Um, so <laughs> I can't really give you too many insights. I think Temple Mage wins. Especially with the coins. With the coin, yeah. Coin helps a lot in, the, in um, well, for Temple Mage in general. Uh, what, wait, why are you putting away the, yeah. Well, he probably doesn't know what he's facing against, right? Uh, he might think he's facing against, um... Freeze Mage? Freeze Mage? Free, yeah, Freeze Mage, so he wants to kind of get an explosive start. Yeah, but he mulliganing away the, uh, the Flame Waker is a bit interesting to me. He does pick up Mana Worm for his trouble, which was the last card, so maybe he knows more than we do in this case. Oh, this... <laughs> Atrocious thoughts from being shit, though. Yeah, absolutely horrible. Didn't keep any two drops, actually, and this is uh, going to be hurting him. A couple of Nihals coming out here. And a turn one Mana Worm for Arthur. <clears throat> and there's a Snow Chugga. We'll see if he plays it out. Keep in mind that Arthur actually mulliganed away uh, Frostbolt, too. So we're going to see... I mean, both players obviously know now what the other player's deck is. I mean, I guess Bing Chuan, Bing Chuan could still think that it's uh, Meg Mage on the side of Arthur. Uh, because sometimes you see a mana worm in there, but uh, he'll he'll find out soon enough. He'll find soon. Actually, uh, yeah, Binchuan he's he's um, playing a version of his Alstaka portal and uh, uh, mana worm himself, so that might be one possibility. So Arthur's really not too happy to discover this mag major, and his Mulligan went. Uh, completely south of that, so... I think you go coin Mirror Entity here. Uh, if you use Arcane Missiles and it misses, it's kind of uh, a ways to go with coin uh, ping. And actually, you could just miss completely, right? You could hit two to the face and you wouldn't be able to ping and kill. So I think you just go for the Mirror Entity. Oh, well, I mean, that's one in a chance that you completely miss it, so... <laughs> Right. Well, not one in. I think it's one in four that you uh, that you hit two to face, and uh, one in eight that you hit all face. Um, so yeah, gonna go with that. And actually, a really good pickup here for Bing Chuan. Now he can actually play his Mana Worm out. It obviously gives your opponent Mana Worm, which isn't the greatest, but it's better than giving him something pretty big here. And uh, can just use his Hero Power to ping off the uh, Buff Mana Worm, or he can go for a uh, um, Neon Steel Portal and save the ping for next turn. But uh, if he picks anything up, it might be you know a bit of a waste there. Uh, oh, that's time agent. No. <laughs> well, it picks up a suit spear, which is uh, kind of you know threatening as well. Uh, so not too bad here. And uh, with nothing else to do, it looks like Arthur's just going to go with the arcane missile, see where they land, and then go from there. There's obviously a buff of these mana worms, which could be a problem for uh, Bing Chun in the future. Uh, the hits here are okay, Ooh. I suppose. And not uh, kidding the mat. And uh, Will got really punished really hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Arthur looks like he wanted to go for the value trade there, but uh, likely going to get punished here by this Goblin Blast Mage. Goblin Blast Mage loves just killing the board, right? He just, I mean, unless, unless, it you're, depends. unless it you're, depends you're, how. yeah, your phone's about to die, then you're like, going face. But uh, most. Uh, yeah, yeah. Most of the time, uh, the Goblin Blast Mage is pretty good. Turns out four pings is a lot. Anyway, uh, obviously, uh, obviously Arthur's not going to be too happy about uh, what happened here, and um, he can, you know, play out a Sorcerer's Apprentice and ping. He also I'll just go for the Shredder here. I I, I think you go for the Sorcerer's Apprentice here. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, if you go, if you commit to that, then you're committing to pinging the turn afterward, and you don't have three minutes to do anything next turn anyway. So that's a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, do it, but I think I'm... Your mic uh, just kind of went crazy for a second, or just now. Uh, I don't know if you, any changes, any settings got changed. What? Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, Nat Pable hitting the field really bad here for Arthur. And uh, just going to go ahead and play out his Snow Chugga so he can buff up the Stinkertown Technician. And Arthur definitely in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, Effigy, which is something I... <clears throat> yeah, Effigy, a bit of a surprise here. Uh, don't always see it, occasionally you see it here, but uh, just going to use this Fireball to kill off the Goblin Blast Mage. Looks like the um, the Gorilla Bot's coming out. Uh, has a choice between a Spider Tank, which you can play out pretty soon, or the Flame Leviathan, which is basically... 
um, a golem that's you know a mech as well. How about target dummy? <laughs> target dummy. He could play that right now. There, so there's that. Uh, but instead, just gonna go for that spider tank, which means he can play a couple things next turn. Um, Tempo Mage occasionally runs Flame Strike, but not usually. But, uh, I mean, the good thing for Arthur here is that he's still at 20 health, and he has pretty uh, substantial minions coming up here in Dr. Boom and Antonia. So if he can just hold on, then he wins the long game. The problem is holding on. Yeah, and uh, Bishu here actually could play his uh, hand, uh, except for the spells, and go off face. But uh, that would be kind of vulnerable to you, flame strike. Right. Yeah. He could just go, uh, you know, mech warper into both of these minions here and uh, put a lot of pressure on. Like you said, would be vulnerable to flame strike. Actually, going to use a ping instead of playing out his uh, spider tank, which I guess makes a bit of sense. Wants to save his four four on the field here. Um, I he could have actually just played a second spider tank and throw away his ticket on technician, but I guess it's a reasonable as well. And uh, I think that's game. Yep, that's, that's game. game. So, um, Arthur just kind of playing to win here. If he uh, faced a fireball, then he'd be dead. But yeah, we see Arthur just kind of <laughs> realizing that he's about to die. And Bing Chuan takes game number one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you play. Why you Monica Wave playing Waker in Temple Mage? I mean, the whole the whole deck became feasible because of that card. Right. I mean, well, I mean, it's the combination of that plus Horus Apprentice plus Mana Worm, uh, which are able to make things like Unstable Portal pretty good. But I definitely see where you're coming from. It was just, uh, I mean, whenever you're playing it, even if he thinks he's playing it's Freeze Mage, as we see in an interview from uh, ADG Bing Shun here. But even if you're playing against Freeze Mage, I mean, temp, uh, the Flame Waker can be, you know, big threat. Uh, you, if you're as the Freeze Mage, you have to get rid of that right away. So I definitely have to agree with you there that uh, Mulliganing Way, the Flame Waker, was uh, maybe a mistake there. Anything interesting from Bing Shun? Yeah, he basically said, "Yeah, last year I was <laughs> sitting home uh, and watching other other people play the grand finals, and I thought I was go, go, going to do the same thing, but uh, things happened. <laughs> things happened indeed, and uh, hasn't had much individual success. But again, he has played a ton of matches um, on the stage in studios and stuff like that. You know, in HCS and NEL. So." Um, yeah, I mean, he has the experience, and it played out there. I mean, he's maybe a bit of a nurse from Arthur there, whereas Bing Chun just kind of was able to play his game, which is obviously very important. Going to be the Druid and Paladin rimming for Bing Chun, where, as obviously, Arthur has the Druid, Paladin, and Mage still remaining, and uh, going to be looking to pick up a win with that Temple Mage in the future. The good news for him is that Temple Mage isn't too bad against Secret Paladin. It's one of the decks that actually competes with it uh, on Tempo. Um... And uh, Temple Mage is also pretty good against Druid, so that will be, work in Arthur's favor, at least for that situation. Um, so really, he's only kind of behind a half a game here, because you're, he's probably going to pick up a win with his Temple Mage. As we see, this next game is going to be Temple Mage versus Secret Paladin. Temple Mage, indeed. And uh, Arthur should move away the three cards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and aside of Bing Shuan, he could have kept the one drop Noble Sacrifice, but it just dies to Mana Worm. It uh, doesn't really work too well. This is a better secret get, uh, better secret to get, excuse me, that uh, event. We see the equality in the hand of Bing Shuan. Kind of interesting to see there. But uh, I don't see any reason to not play this uh, event. Uh, you're going to try play it like arms. And, it's basically uh, a 3 2 for one mana, and yeah, eventually you're going to get value out of it. So I, I do like the playing this out. In any case, Mana Worm, uh, obvious play on turn one. Picks up a Flame Waker, which is obviously nice for him. Uh, Bing Chun, considering playing out this um, equality, perhaps uh, he's bluffing something like a Knife Juggler. I don't think he would bluff uh, Mini Bot there, because, I mean, obviously you just play out the Mini Bot. But uh, going to be a kill in this 1 1. Now uh, Arthur knows it's not Repentance, Noble Sacrifice, uh, and uh, Redemption. Oh, you mean Redemption? It could be. It could still be. Um, yeah. Uh, the competitive spirit and avenge. He probably suspects it's avenge. But um, yeah, Bingshun kind of an awkward turn here. Could go for the cog hammer to kill off this mad or this uh, mana worm. But um, yeah, it's just uh, this flame worker is gonna cause a lot of problems. 
Ben Walker can go crazy the next turn, but we'll see. But sure, he's no happy. That... I mean, <laughs> I was wondering why he's taking so long. Uh, maybe he was thinking about hitting the Flame Waker and bluffing Consecrate, but uh, just kind of probably not the best idea there. Uh, we see the Man Worm come into the hand. Uh, Kimmy, or not Kimmy, for, for some reason, since he's on Big 3, I mix him up with Kimmy. Arthur, excuse me. He can actually go for a lot of damage here. Um, he could shoot 10 missiles to face. I think I like shooting 10 missiles to face and, and developing a 3 3 mana worm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the damage is not relevant, um, especially if you're not able to finish out the game, I suppose. But uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like 10 missiles. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. 10 missiles ten, ten sounds, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, but, he can actually uh, go for 12 missiles here with the Unsealed Port. Looks like he's <laughs> going to go with the Mana Worm instead. But uh, he knows it's not Redemption, so he doesn't have to worry about that, which is nice for him. And we're going to see a Missiles Party, folks. One, two, three out of the face. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, wow, four Missiles to the face and one to the Shredder. Looks like he's going to go for the uh, Unsealed Portal here. Picks up a Dinger Town Technician, which is not useful in a deck without uh, Megs. Um... No turn is kind of okay here. Uh, I'm not actually too sure why. Well, I I guess there's gonna be a kill onto the flame waker anyway, so you might as well get rid of the divine shield. But um, for Bing Chuan, he picked up uh, repentance and competitive spirit over the last few turns, which is not what you want to see. Uh, those are usually one ofs, so he's not gonna get too much value out of that. Uh, when he does eventually get his Mysterious Challenger on the board, and uh, not even going to get the value from the event here either. So, this Mysterious Challenger is probably going to pick up uh, one or two secrets here. Yeah, two secrets, most likely. But, yeah, I mean, on the other hand, the uh, the quality did work out well for him, so um, that is one thing going in uh, Bing Shun's favor. Another, oh. Wow, another Flame Waker coming down. So if you're uh, if you're Arthur here, what do you do? Uh, realizes it's not going to be the um, no sacrifice. He might be worried about the repentance, uh, so he might not want to play the Zerdrick. On the other hand, you kind of I think you're fine with just drawing the card here, and uh, your flame Waker getting discounted or not discounted, uh, getting hurt for three essentially is pretty bad as well. So I think you just go for the Zerdrick. I guess you could ping as well and just try to. You know, guess that it's uh, maybe redemption or something like that. But uh, gonna be the Azure Drake. It's gonna get you know put down to a four one. And now we're finally gonna see this mysterious challenger. But again, it's only gonna oh, it's oh. Only gonna, it might even pull just one secret here. Okay, it does pull the two, so that means he's running double uh, redemption. But um, yeah, not a great card for Bing Shun to pick up there. Uh, indeed, and. Uh... Arthur, he could uh, fireball and pain. To yeah, just that could be pretty reasonable. Um, so let's see. If he fireballs, it turns into a six-one, and then he pings it, and then uh, there's no. Yeah, if he attacks first, then the avenge goes off, which is uh, pretty annoying. So yeah, just gonna go with this and ping it off, and then probably proc the noble sacrifice here. I mean, the Noble Sacrifice hasn't come back, so you might as well, right? Yeah, it does come back, but he might be thinking about next turn. Right, but if he but... if he attacks later, then the Noble Sacrifice goes off, and then the Avenge goes off, which he doesn't really want to have happen. I think he'd rather go with uh, just killing off now. Although, I guess in the future, it's kind of close, I suppose. Anyway, Dr. Boom's coming out, uh, most likely. And now the event is a bit of a, a bit of an issue here. So what does Arthur go for? He has a flame waker to uh, just you know throw missiles out there potentially, but uh, uh, let's see. look like he's reaching for his own Doctor Boom. He knows it's not repentance, obviously. Yeah, I think he played a Doctor Boom here, just forcing the issue back to opponents. Right, and uh, I mean, Bing Shun's the one at, one at 13 health, right? Not Arthur, so Arthur's not afraid of dying. There's no burst in Paladin, um, other than, you know, something like Blessing of Kings, but that wouldn't be enough at all. So yeah, I, I do kind of like this. Just play out your own Dr. Boom. Even though it's not great to play Dr. Boom second after your opponent's played it, 
uh, you're still able. I mean, it's just so much pressure on your opponent that uh, your opponent has to trade with you. Uh oh. Oh, the the, the oh, the, the boom bots. The uh, competitors, uh, spirit nine plays actually a huge deal here for uh both players actually not not very really good for BG and though. And go for no, this is very greedy. Could could get punished by the. Right. I mean, you, the reason why he did that is because if he leaves only one minion on the board, then the, obviously the Doctor Boom has to. Uh, and there's nothing. There's no charge minions essentially in uh, Temple Mage, so uh, Arthur has to attack him with his Doctor Boom, and then it'll proc the um, Noble Sacrifice. So it's not like Arthur can really attack the face here with the uh, Doctor Boom. And in fact, he might not attack at all. We'll see what he goes for. Um, no real. You know, fireball or what have you to deal with this Doctor Boom. Uh, obviously, there's an Avenger that's going to go off as well. So all of a sudden, a lot of pressure onto Arthur here. Uh, he's very close to winning the game, but he needs to uh, basically choose carefully what what he goes with. He could actually just go for Antonius maybe, and uh, get a fireball out of that. But you you still won't be able to finish the game from there. Right, but it does force your opponent to attack into your Antoninus. So you're basically healing for 7, and you develop a Fireball, and uh, maybe the next turn you can uh, Flame Waker plus, um, you know, Fireball the face and ping, and, you know, if the missiles hit face a lot, then maybe you might have lethal there. So I can't, I think this is reasonable. Everything else is not the greatest anyway, so I think this is okay. If you're playing out the Antoninus, it looks like he's going to attack first, uh, which I suppose will get... A defender redeemed so he can maybe have a better chance of killing that with the arcane missiles. Uh, the only problem with this is that now a different minion might be able to take out Antonius, and we do see that now the um, Secret Keeper is able to take it out uh, with the help of another minion now. So uh, we'll see what uh, ends up happening here with this arcane missiles. And there's also a competitive spirit up, so that's really big. Uh, killing that defender was actually oh. pretty big. Alright, so how much damage do we have here? Um, 15, 20 damage, and gonna have to start trading off. Um, uh, my, that was my mistake earlier, by the way. The uh, Secret Keeper doesn't need anything else to kill the Antonidas. So, gonna be just a clear off here. 8 damage to face from Bing Shun. And now Arthur is in a bit of trouble. 15, 18, 20 damage on the board. So, if you're Frostbolt. Arthur, do you. Uh, yeah, Frostbolt would be lethal here. Uh, Effigy is not. But, uh, yeah, if you're. If you're uh, Arthur here, do you just Flame Waker and Fireball the face and ping the face and just hope that you pick up something? And you might actually just win the game right now. Well, I guess you would. 6, 7, 8. You would do 1 damage even if all the missiles went face, but maybe you just, you know, threaten it and then you can... If you get 1 missile to face, maybe you can make how, something happen. Yeah, how about Flame Waker, IFG, ping face? Right, right, right. That might be reasonable. Maybe you go for the uh, Flame Waker Effigy and um, Mad, Mad scientist. scientist. Right. And then just, you know, get as much stuff out on the field. It would slow down your opponent. By the way, there's a lot of background noise coming out uh, from your end. I don't know if you're moving around a lot, but uh, anyway. Alright, so, going to be the Flame Waker, actually going to Fireball Dr. Boom, which is a bit surprising to me. I'm going to play it a bit defensive here, here, not going low for the win. Uh, does kill off a 1-1 one, one for his trouble, but uh, I suppose, I mean, with those pings, he's now kind of um, threatening the board of Bing Chun. However, a Consecrate comes into play. Consecrate, uh, actually pretty good here. It's just that uh, he has to throw the sheer main bot into the... The Flame Waker, right? I, I, yeah, you have to go for this, well. because you don't really want to trade your minions into um, <clears throat> your opponent's board. So yeah, just go for the Consecrate, or the Consecration, excuse me. Tuck face with the um, Haunted Creeper, and make a dude. And uh, it's Mirror Entity. Alright, so 7, 8, 9 damage on the side of Bing Shun here. There's the Frostbolt, so we do see that uh, Arthur would have won this turn if he went for that play. However, he might have died to the Consecrate, I believe. Uh, there was a lot of damage on the field for uh, Bing Shun, so pinging off the 1-1 actually uh, helped there in that situation. 
Or uh, killing the Doctor Boom, I should say. Yeah, he now can uh, frostball the Secret Keeper and play the Effigy, which I think is the best. Yeah, that's probably the best move here. Um, the Unstable Portal could be played, but the Effigy... I mean, your Azurdric is so... Um, you know, threatening right now that uh, if Bing Chuan's able to kill it, he probably would. And then that might, uh, you know, really punish him. But uh, it is a pretty, you know, tough choice here. If you play the Unstable Portal, um, if it's a 3 drop or a 4 drop or less, you can actually play it right now. Which is a uh, pretty high odds, I would say. But gonna go with the Effigy, it's a bit safer here. Um, this, oh. yeah, this Shredder is, uh, gonna be Mirren to need if Bing Chun plays on the field, so, looks like a few turns ago, Arthur going for the clear on the Dr. Boom has worked out well for him. Yes, and, uh, only, uh, I think you go for it, but the placement is... <laughs> You're worried about the placement more than the actual flying of it, so, uh, one damage off lethal is Arthur here. And uh, we'll see what he's able to do. Another Mirinji is pretty powerful here. Gonna go with uh, that. Uh, Ooh. Sale portal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy Alchemist doesn't really do much here. And uh, a bit afraid for his life is Arthur. So I'm gonna go ahead and looks like he's gonna trade the Shredder for a Shredder. Yeah. Crazy Alchemist might be pretty good if um, maybe a Doomsayer comes out, he can just kill it off. Uh, he can actually play his whole hand here. I don't know if he wants to ping as well. Um, but uh, he can definitely play it out his whole hand. Can, uh, can... Ooh, there's a Doomsayer. Okay, so he's actually going to use that. Uh, he needs to use that uh, Alchemist now. now. Now that's really, really useful. But do you... Like, well, you if... just... If you, you don't, just... if you don't, then your opponent has two one ones versus your nothing. So I think you do. I mean, you could kill the uh, Hunter Cooper with your Zodric. Right, but you're giving initiative to your opponent. Um, I yeah. guess you can play. But you can play. Me. Yeah, p play your anti. You can play the Shredder as well. That you can have. I think I like drop. the Shredder rather than pinging, though. I definitely agree that I'd rather the Shredder than ping because there's no lethal coming here from Bing Shun. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, I think. I don't think there's a way for Bing Chun to live here. Uh, Effigy into Doomsayer. Oh, right. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Effigy into Doomsayer would be a thing that keeps him alive. Um, he probably suspects that it's Effigy now. Well, maybe not. He hasn't tested for counter spell, I suppose. Uh, yeah, he he needs, to, but uh, he, you you want to tr try, you, you want to test what the next secret is. So uh, yeah, I mean, I mean it's con it's conquest. You you, you lose, lose you anyway. You want to just save your best of the kings instead of testing. So uh, most likely he probably didn't uh, think of that play. It's kind of a, a weird play to think about, especially because you know effigy isn't always that common. But, um, I mean, I don't know if it was that valuable to not reveal the Blessing of Kings. It's a pretty standard card in uh, Secret Paladin. But, in any case, that's going to be one game to one in this best of five series with Bing Chuan and Arthur both with Druid and Paladin remaining. So we'll see how this plays out. Obviously, we haven't seen Arthur's Druid or Paladin yet. Uh, we haven't seen Bing Chun's Druid yet either, so we'll see how that plays out. But uh, most likely going to be Midrange Druid. We've seen, I think, one aggro Druid so far in Gold Series. And uh, here we go, it's going to be the Secret Paladin versus the uh, Midrange Druid. This, I think this is a bit of um, a mistake here from Arthur. Why would you pick Druid into Druid Paladin? I could not tell. I mean, he maybe think... He, he's either, think, he's either thinking that his Paladin is going to... But you put Paladin anyways. Right, I mean, just so if you guys aren't aware, Paladin is good against Druid, and there's no Paladin that's that bad against Paladin, or Druid for that matter. Uh, maybe it's Murloc, the only thing I can think of is it's Murloc Paladin, and he doesn't want to go against Druid, that's the only thing I can think of. If it's Midrange Paladin, then it's better to go with Paladin, if it's Secret Paladin, it's better to go with Paladin, 
Um, the only thing I can think of is that uh, Arthur's playing more like Paladin. Yeah, that, that could be a thing. But, uh, if you're playing more like Paladin, and your opponent... I mean, you know your opponent's going to play Paladin situation. There's no way that your opponent's ever going to play uh, Druid into Druid Paladin, especially because you know that your opponent's playing Secret Paladin um, and Druid. There's, he's never not going to play Paladin, if that makes any sense. So even if you have more like Paladin, if you if you went through the the you know the kind of mind games, if you if you thought about it, you know that your opponent's going to play Paladin. So therefore, you want to get the more like Paladin versus Secret Paladin matchup anyway. So no matter what, I think this is a strict, strictly a, a mistake from uh, Arthur, and you can see why. I mean, we haven't been talking about the game, but I mean, just look at the screen. He's just getting killed. Yeah, and uh, as I say. This case that could be made that uh, nobody should really be here in this group. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Strink, you shot too many... <laughs> you have um, fired too many shots today. It's, uh, I think you need to calm down. No, anyway, uh, events come out. Let's see what it goes on to. It goes on to the 1-1, uh, which is good for Bing Chun, I think. And I'm going to be just a swipe here. Still a couple of 3-2s on the board. Uh, if nothing's picked up, probably going to have to see... Oh, wow, that is a pretty good um, actually, I think that was a bit of a interesting play. He could have gone for the hero power first because getting a one one with the vine shield and taunt is actually pretty good here. It really wastes a lot of time uh, of Arthur's, but uh, I mean, there's a two and three chance that this happens anyway. But so it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, Arthur is in a lot of trouble. Uh, has no healing in hand other than his uh, hero power, and we see two consecrates in the side of Ming Chun. So this game is looking pretty bad for Arthur here. Looking bad for Arthur, indeed, what he can possibly do, he probably just silence into your power. Silence plus wrath, I think. Yes, silence, might... plus, yeah, silence plus wrath. No, you silence and you try to get a taunt. I mean, you can play the heal. Sludge Belcher, which is uh, decent against this board. It's not the greatest. Looks like he wants to get a Taunt here or some sort of Vitality Totem. Gonna be the Force Nature, looks like. Force Nature does clear the board, but it gives uh, the initiative over to Bing Chun. We do know that Bing Chun has no initiative in his hand right now, so that would actually be pretty decent. But uh, instead, gonna be looking like the Wrath and the Keeper to clear off uh, two of these minions, but also have, you know, put his own minions on the board. This keeper will turn into a three four, which is nice. But um, I mean, this is just looking really bad. Uh, imagine you just go for the muster for battle here. And hero power, you could consecrate and force your opponent to have uh, lore, but you don't have a follow up to consecrate uh, if he does lore. So, huh? Interesting. But if you muster a battle. Swipe would be pretty bad. But your opponent's already played one swipe, and so... Yeah, yeah, that's true. Anyway, that's going to be a game. Uh, there's no healing on the side of um, Arthur, and Bing Chun's going to Consecrate and win the game. So, that's just disappointing, honestly. I don't know why Arthur played Druid. This is really, there was absolutely no reason. Um, the one possible thing he could be think could have thought about was that if he had more like Paladin, but again, if you go through the, uh, you know process of elimination there, uh, your opponent's definitely going to play a Secret Paladin, so you would still want to play Merlick Paladin in that situation. So, yeah, just a, just a, a almost an out out mistake from uh, Arthur the Big Druid, and you got punished for it. Well, I mean, it can be said that uh, he's... He might be thinking, well, I'm going to beat you with a, in an unfavorable matchup, and I will be that doesn't so... Make any, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'll I'll beat you no, with an I mean, unfavorable matchup. I, uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean I, I play in some tournaments in China and and then know there are this kind of people are there. So <laughs> Arthur might be one of them. Just so. overconfident and say like I'm so much better than you than you that I'm going to beat you in an unfavorable matchup. The problem is if you're if you lose <laughs> then then you look really stupid. Uh, for many reasons, but <laughs> anyway, Bing Chun's gonna take the match and uh, is up match point in this series. Will Arthur pick Druid this time? 
I mean, this this time it wouldn't really. It doesn't really make too much of a difference, right? Because you eventually had to win with the druid anyway. So I wouldn't. It wouldn't be a mistake at all to pick druid this time. But uh, it's just really interesting. Interesting that last game. All right. Looks like shrink has died. Maybe. But uh, in any case, look, we're getting to uh, game four pretty soon here between these two players, EDG's Bing Chen and Big Three's Arthur. Uh, just to reiterate, Arthur, he got here by winning the Esports Champion League, and uh, Bing Chen is the replacement for his teammate Nicholas, aka Love Shot Boo, uh, and became the nominee for EDG. So we are going to go into a Druid Mirror. This and is. Why this Why? could decide the game. Uh, unless it is Merlock Paladin, this could decide the, the series because if uh, Arthur can take this mirror matchup, then, um, you know, obviously he'd be favored as long as it's not Merlock Paladin next game. Whereas, obviously, if Bing Chuen wins here, then he wins the series. So, uh, Arthur picks up the Dr. Boom and the BGH to uh, BM kill his own Dr. Boom. And uh, we have wild growth for both players. So the good news is both of these players are good at druid. Uh, very, very good at picking up wild growth. Yeah, but I still do, don't know why Arthur moved away his uh, shredder. Now he doesn't have a turn. Well, he has a turn. turn three play. He has a turn two. So there is that. Uh, we have wild growth into innervate Thorison on the side of Bingshun, but nothing really to. You know, aid that Thorsten as far as, um, you know, <laughs> he's basically discounting Wrath and Keeper, which is not that great, and uh, also Darnassus, which is not great either. I think you still go for it just to put pressure on your opponent and force him to try to kill it. And maybe you can get two discounts off, and a uh, two mana Keeper is, you know, still reasonably good. Um, on the side of Bing, or so on the side of Arthur, excuse me, uh, you can kill this right now with a Savage Roar unless he picks up something better. Uh, Innervate doesn't really help him kill it, so he might have to go for the uh, Savage Roar here. Yeah, you can innovate in the boom next turn, so I think that's the trade you are willing to make. Yeah. And that you're doing to, to face damage as well. I mean, if you have a better play, like if you had a shredder, then maybe you go for the shredder. Uh, by the way, pretty good top deck here for Pink Shun getting a Druid Claw there. Um, because you're, I mean, you only see three cards in your opponent's hand, and it's going to be only four the following turn. So if you had something to do, then, you know, you'd go for that. But he had nothing else to do anyway, so you might as well take out the uh, Thoris and where you're capable of it. Anyway, here, oh my god. Uh, we see the Doctor Boom come onto the field for Arthur. We were suspecting that might be the case. Uh, if you're Bing Chun, do you draw cards with this Wrath? I feel like you have to. Yeah, you can. It's really bad. Right, yeah, it looks like... He, oh, he's going to draw onto the the boom bot, interestingly enough. Huh. And hits for four to the face, which is not that bad. I think three to the Drew the Claw might, but might have been worse if you're Bing Chun, because it just dies later on. But uh, picks up a Drew the Claw, which is nice. Much better than Wrath of the... Um, uh, excuse me, the Wild Growth that he picked up the or at the start of the turn. And uh, I think you're Bing Chun, you kind of just play the Drew the Claw and, you know... Hit the face here, yeah. Just, uh, you know, it's it's Arthur's problem now. <laughs> you deal with this board. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that's his way to deal with it. He can uh, B and BG to his own Dr. Boom, just to show how, just to show dominance. But, um, anyway, gonna attack with, first with the Dr. Boom, and then play out his... I was thinking that maybe we might see the boom bot run in first because then you might there's a good chance that your keeper can uh, potentially kill something. But looks like he's going for the attack first, and uh, again just a bit of strange play. I have to be honest. I don't really like criticizing players too much because you know sometimes there's nerves and sometimes you know there's the you know, different reasons that we're not seeing maybe. But uh, I think this like when when you're consistently you know making moves before. Like he he played the he hit with the Doctor Boom or the the Boom Bot after, um you know the Doctor Boom which didn't really make too much sense to me. Um, anyway, uh, the Ancient Lore is a really good pickup here for Bing Shuen. Unfortunately, if he plays it, he can't really deal with the board. But uh, probably not too worried about that as long as he can develop this guy. 
Um, this game is kind of starting to be back and forth a bit here. Uh, Bing Chuan and last two draws were pretty decent after the disaster of the, um, you know, Darnassus and the Wild Growth. But uh, it's still anyone's game here. And we'll see how mm -hmm. Arthur navigates this turn. There's a way to kill off this uh, Drew the Claw without using his Dr. Boom into it. Um, he can maybe use his Dr. Boom into the uh, um, Ancient of Lore. Obviously, you can use the Wrath plus the Keeper of the Grove. You can also go for um, the Wrath for one here. But uh, yeah, it looks like he's just going to kill off this uh, Drew the Claw. Kill off the 5-5 five, five and establish a board lead for him. And the board lead in, in, the, in the Druid Mirror is very, very important. Another lore picked up here for Bing Chuan, but probably can't really play that, and the reason is because he might need to save it for healing. If you ever get below 14 in the Druid Mirror, it can be a really sticky situation. So yeah, just gonna play out his own minions and uh, save that lore for the future, when he could potentially use it for healing if he needs to. Yep. Arthur's really... Uh, Thorson is... A good card in this matchup, but uh, only be able to play that on this turn. Just hero power and floating two mana. It's pretty important to kill off this Darnassus, though. Um, he doesn't really float two mana because that hero power is important in taking out uh, the Darnassus. Because now there can't be a draw with the um, the wild growth. So from Bing Xuan here, um, he's already seen a savage roar. Uh, if he leaves this um, Thorson on the board, then he's dead to combo. But I don't think. There's no real way to kill it anyway, so I think you just play this Dr. Boom out and probably hero power down the Keeper so you don't take any damage on it. Uh, there's You died the combo anyway, so I don't think you really need to save your health too much. The two damage doesn't really matter. Well, it could in the future, I suppose, um, even without combo, but we'll see. It's going to go play a bit uh, conservative here. I guess he figures that his 2-2 could kill a potential BGH, and he's seen his opponent play off the right side of his hand for a bit here. But uh, in any case, most likely we're going to see, I think, Drake into BGH. Uh, no, it can actually be a hero power first. I guess this makes a bit of sense. Let's see where this boom butt lands. If it lands for three or more on the Thoris and it's bad, one is obviously not too big of a deal. So, uh, good bit, good boom butt for... Arthur's sake, bad boom buff for Bing Chuan's sake. And yeah, it's just going to be the Drake and into the BGH here. Yeah. So looking at the side of Bing Chuan, um, if this Dr. Boom dies, but the Keeper and the Boom Bot lives, there's 21 damage via combo. So Arthur can actually go face with this Thoris in here and put pressure on his opponent. Uh, it would be a bit safe. Maybe overly safe to hit the uh, keeper, but uh, you know every single point of damage matters. So look, we'll see if he tries to go aggressively or defensively here. But uh, drawing a card first is always so good habit, and I think you do go to face. Yeah, it is a lot of pressure, but he's gonna play defensively here. Doesn't want his um, the big game hunter to die too easily. Harrison Jones is not very helpful. Bing Chuan has a bit of a decision here. Um, it's, this turn is pretty tough. Uh, probably start off with the Boom Bop. The thing is, if he draws here, he can't play the Harrison and the Keeper, which is important. But it looks like he's just looking for answers. Uh, picks up a Lotha, which is okay, not great. But uh, he he now has to decide if he wants to play Ashen or if he wants to do Hero Power. Well, now he has the Hero Power. <laughs> If he wants to kill off that Thoros, and probably going to go ahead and play the uh, Lothab out as well, so he doesn't die to any nonsense, particularly because there's an Azurdrake on the field. Even if you're not dead to combo, uh, Swipe is pretty you know, annoying here. So Looks like it's going pretty well for Arthur, honestly. He can play all the three of his minions on the board, and you know Drew doesn't have really, really any AoE. So you might just see a Drew the Claw in Taunt, plus the... Uh, actually going to kill us off, interestingly enough. Um, but by doing this, you can kind of play the Drew the Claw in charge and the um, Shredder. So, yeah, probably going to see that. I would like to see it in charge here. Not nope, going to go for the Taunt. Um, I mean, this is a pretty sizable board. It's very difficult for Bing Chun to deal with. Either way is reasonable. i just like to see your opponent down an 8 with a huge board like that. Although I suppose, um, you know, combo clear is easier if it's in Taunt or within charge. So, uh, it's, it's okay. 
Going to be healed here for Bing Chuan. He kind of needed to. He's pretty pretty low in health at that point. And uh, he does have, you know, minions to, you know, keep himself going. Is this lethal here? Uh, 12, 17 adds lethal. Exactly lethal coming out from Arthur. And we are going to go into a game five in this series. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe Arthur was actually thinking that this was going to go down as a Druid Mirror, which would decide everything. So I could have played <laughs> Druid against the uh, Secret Parting and try to get lucky. Right, but he could have just won with his Paladin and won, got lucky in that matchup, and then won this mirror, this Druid mirror, and the game, the match would have already been over. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to go in this last game, and actually, Arthur has the advantage now. As long as he's not playing more like Paladin, uh, he has the advantage whether he's playing mid range or Secret Paladin, and we'll see how Bing Chuan is able to cope with that fact. But. Um, yeah, another game, another series going to Game 5. We had a lot of those yesterday. Yeah, and uh, especially we see very control-heavy lineup today from all the players. Even though we see um, Mag Mage and uh, Temple Mage earlier, but that's apparently something you do to counter Druid, which are good against the mid-range deck, you control deck, so that's uh, that consideration. Yep. Uh, Alright, we do see that is the uh, Secret Paladin. Um, interesting, Arthur is running equality as well, but uh, there is the Wrath and the Innervate in the hand of Bing Chun, so that might help him out. Um, Ancient of Lore is not really what, what you want to see unless you pick up even more ramp here. But uh, we'll see how this plays out. Going to be the Secret Keeper on turn one. And uh, that could be followed up by Noble Sacrifice. We'll see if Bingshan commits to the Coin and Wrath here. Uh, otherwise, he could play a turn two Azure Drake, which would be nice. But uh, going to actually commit to this Wrath. So uh, before this Secret Keeper gets out of control. Bit of a defensive play here from Bingshan. We'll see if it works out. I suppose if he's facing down, you know, a knife juggler and a secret keeper on turn two, um, you know, it would be difficult to go for the innervate or the coin innervate Azure Drake, especially if there's, you know, a muster for a battle. And so kind of committing to playing, you know, the Rasp back to back here. But uh, we do see there's nothing really to do for Arthur. It's either going to be hero power or the uh, noble sacrifice. going to be the hero power, um, pretty, up, you know, standard play here. <laughs> And uh, just going to be taking out by this hero power. Next is going to be the muster for battle into the shredder, whereas on the side of Bingchuan, he has the ability to go into the innervate uh, plus one of his five drops. Yes, let's see. Indeed. And uh, let's see. I think coin to. I don't oh. like the low thip here because your opponent can easily just play a four drop a lot of the time. I guess you're kind of preventing your opponent from playing Blessing of Kings, but if you have Drake against Blessing of Kings, it's not really that bad. Uh, because if they go face, then you can Wrath for a lot. Um, and if they hit the Drake, then you can Wrath for one and kill it off. Um, Lotho doesn't really stop anything, and if you play the Drake, you have two chances to pick up a Horde up, which is really important. Uh, I suppose he's going to use the Wrath anyway here, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. <laughs> but uh, I, I kind of like just developing the Drake. Rolling's Automatic comes out, which means that ha that guy has to die right now <laughs> by from this Lothab. Uh, I guess the Lothab has more health, so that's one thing going for uh, Bing Chun right now. But uh, this Drake feels like it's going to be dead for a while. Alright, what do we have here? We have Noble Sacrifice, Redemption, and Avenge. So, it's almost like Dr. Six was played already, <laughs> kind of, here. Uh, this is actually pretty... Uh, threatening for Bing Chun because he really doesn't want to play the Jirlaclaw in taunt form and get repentance. So ha seeing three secrets go down all at once is kind of uh, scary here. Yeah, and uh, can be here just because you know, I mean, you you know your opponent is just playing out everything he has in his hand because he's probably has situational cards left, so that's why he's just playing three three um, secrets here. So it literally, could be anything. 
Um, there's no at this point. There's no actual rhyme or reason uh, to whether or not you know it's something that. Ooh, a heal bot. That's going to actually be pretty useful. I mean, Paladin doesn't really have a burst, but they can. I mean, it, that heal bot provides you a lot of time. Uh, if they're smacking you in the face with things like, you know, a buffed up Mysterious Challenger. But uh, looking really good for Bing Chun, actually. Um, Dr. Boom obviously is a big threat, and it uh, looks like this lore is going to get taken out with equality here. But, um... Yeah, I mean, there's a... Uh... Bing Chun has a reasonable hand. Um, this Force Nature might be able to deal with this uh, Dr. Boom in the future. And... You know, he has card draw, he has healing. It's going to be up to, uh, you know, Arthur to have, to basically draw into something other than this Dr. Boom in the future. Alright, so it uh, looks like there was a kill on that Ancient Lore. Coming back here, Drew the Claw is the biggest thing that Bing Chun can put on the board right here, so it makes sense for him to go for that. The uh, Drake might get cleared by something. Is that going to be the Drew the Claw? Dr. Boom, Dr. Boom, excuse me, already being selected. Nitro is okay in the future, but not the greatest. And uh, Swipe Pickup is pretty good here. The thing is, Bing Chun knows that there is, um, you know, he's already tested for, he's already seen that's not competitive spirit, he's already seen that's not repentant, so he knows exactly what these secrets are right here, unless it's, you know, Sacred Trial or something wonky like that. But, um, yeah, most likely it's going to be, like we mentioned, the Defender of Argus. Or not Defender of Argus, the, the um, Noble Sacrifice, which pops the Defender. And then uh, the Redemption, which will bring that back to 2-1, and then an Avenge on something. So, he doesn't really want to swipe first, because it just brings back whatever. It probably brings like a 1-1, one, one, but then uh, after he attacks, something will get Avenge. Oh, well, something will get Avenge immediately if he swipes. So the Doctor will get Avenge, which he doesn't want to have happen. Looks like he's going to head for his Hero Power first. And then attack, and then probably swipe onto the 4 3, whichever 4 3 pops out. Or it could swap Dr. Boom, maybe. Yeah, maybe just swap, swap Dr. Boom. Uh, in which case, you probably attack first. So that um, your guy doesn't die. This is very risky, though. Uh, let's see if the uh, Druid Claw dies. Doesn't die, so that's good for him. And actually, hitting the. Uh, the um... Oh, it couldn't die. What am I talking about? The, the uh, Boom Bot lived. So, or the Boomba got avenged, so actually the Drew Claw couldn't have died, so actually good um, sequencing there by Bing Chun. And uh, what do we see picked up here? Gonna be, I think that was a vent that we saw. So more pressure putting on here, uh, being put on here by uh, by Arthur. We could see a Force Nature, or we could see Double Shredder or something like that, because there's only, what, 9 damage on the field for uh, Arthur here? And again, that heal bot could be really useful because if without the heal bot in hand, um, Bing Chun has to clear every single board, right? He can't. Well, it looks like he's going to go for the clear anyway. But uh, what I was saying was that uh, if this weren't the case, right, he could, um, it could be, he would have to clear every single board and then, you know, he had to be very defensive. Whereas now, um, there, he could, you know, just play minions out and then play the hillbutt later. But it looks like he's going to go defensively and not take any chances. And that's got a pretty nice clear on the board anyway, so it works out here for Ming Chun. Noble sacrifice the pickup, and uh, there needs to be... I mean, basically, Arthur's played every single secret in his deck, so he needs Tyrion like yesterday. <laughs> and, uh... It's a good test for Repentance with that uh, Shredder. It doesn't really matter too much if it gets... You know, down to one health. It's only two damage to it, and it comes back anyway. So, uh, good uh, test there by Bing Chun. He pretty much knows, and he knows it's not going to be a spirit, so he pretty much knows it's going to be Noble Sacrifice here. I think the only other thing could be a second redemption. But, uh, yeah, this is what can just happen with Secret Paladin. Sometimes it just falls flat. We see exactly that happening here. Consecrate coming out for. Uh, Arthur, because there's nothing else to do, he might as well injure his opponent's creatures. Gonna be a kill in this Nitro, but before an attack in, doesn't want the uh, ping to hurt him in any way. And um, I imagine Bing Chun's gonna save this Keeper here, because that's the only thing he loses to is, you know, some sort of uh, Tyrion. Gonna actually attack him with his uh, Shredder, and he knows it's gonna die most likely. Again, Bing Chun has already seen the quality too, so he's not really too worried. Probably going to be a Drake into a Shredder, I imagine. 
Swipe is okay, but you don't really need it now. Probably use it for a rainier day than this. And yeah, Arthur, this is this has to be over. Yeah, this is play over. <laughs> and uh, Arthur going for the strategy, but uh, actually the one who executed the strategy was his opponent. This is a six damage swipe, by the way, so you can just kill off this <laughs> this mysterious challenger. Is it lethal for eight? Uh, probably. Yeah, there's lethal. He just needs. Okay, that's going to be conceit from Arthur. Bing Xuan, after an up and down series, is going to take it, and he moves on to the winners match to face off against Wu Wu.